Hello guys, this is Jeffrey from Success with WP or WordPress101.com. Today, we'll be talking about how to have a two-column shop mobile layout on WordPress using the DB theme. So, that's actually very important, especially when you have a lot of items in your store. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so what we're looking at is this. So, uh, currently when you have, uh, so for example, uh, in your shop page here, right? Yeah, this is the, the default layout. And then when you... Uh, Look at the mobile uh, layout. It's like this, so it's just stacked on top of each other, and you won't, you don't want that uh, unless I suppose you prefer. But then, if you're watching this video, probably you want it to be two mobile, uh, two lay, uh, two column. So here, and what we're trying to do is this. So uh, yeah, this actually uh, it's not that uh, it's, it's a bit simple to do. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. So. Uh, first, uh, we'll, we'll uh, do the tutorial first for the shop page, and there's a second part of this tutorial, which is for uh, individual shop module. Okay, so first of all, let's go to our dashboard, because we're going to add a CSS, so DB, theme customizer, and then we go to our uh, additional CSS here, which is where I prefer to add my CSS. So you can add that the code above or at the bottom. I prefer to add the bottom. So here I already have the code uh, copied, so I could just paste that. And here, so let's click publish. And then we go to our shop again. And here you can still see that it's the previous layout. So we refresh. And then here, so there are uh, two columns now for the shop page. All right. And then, so let's get to the uh, second part of the tutorial, which is the uh, shop module. So Instead of uh, editing the one in the shop page, uh, let's edit the one uh, when you in individually add a, a, a shop module into a page. So, for example, let's make a, let's make a page first. So, pages. Let's call it a sample shop. And then use a DB builder. All right. So. I'm using the uh, new DV builder. Start building. And then here I prefer this so I can see what's happening. And uh, set a text. Sample shop. Make that into a heading. Heading one. I'm gonna center that. So here. All right. Okay. So we add a new row with the shop module. Let's assume that you already have a shop module in place somewhere. All right, and then here you can see the shop mod. Uh, this is the sample products that I have added, same as the one from the previous tutorial. So uh, we're we're adding a CSS class to this, not into the row, but into the shop module. So be careful of that. So okay, we shop the shop, we're looking at the shop module, advanced CSS ID and classes, and then we add a CSS class for uh, this example. Let's put a sample hyphen shop as a class. All right that and then we can publish this publishing all right and now it's there so maybe we can have a look at the page first that we've made okay, this. all right and you can see here this is the uh the page we just made and then we inspect you see this the mobile layout and here you can see it's still stacked together uh, it's still stacked on top of each other and we don't want that we want a two column layout so again now we go back to our uh, we go to theme customizer we're going to add the css code and then we're going to use the new css class that we've added so don't worry it might sound complicated now but it's actually just copy and paste all right so additional css again we go to the bottom in here so i already have the previous code here right so let me just copy that and then paste it here but okay instead of, of course instead of just uh, publishing that again we're going to change um very minor things so here see here right the, the dot woocommerce hyphen page we're going to change that to the new one which is the sample shop this is the new css class so then add it here also sample shop all right, so make sure that you only change that, nothing else. And then here, publish. And so now we can go back to our uh, sample shop page. The URL should be 
sample shop. All right, now we can look at the mobile uh, layout of it. So inspect, and here we go. So now that uh, it's here, you can just uh, it's almost it looks almost the same as the uh, shop page, and uh, yeah. So um, that's it. And now let's move on to, uh, I'm going to show you how we can play around with the CSS code here and how to understand it better. Uh, maybe just a little bit of introduction about the CSS code here. So this one, the media query, this is actually called a media query. This one targets mobile devices. So whenever you have this and then max with 980px, it's almost always that all the device, uh, uh, mobile devices are targeted already. And then here, is the class that we are targeting. So the WooCommerce one is the list that we have in this nth child right here is actually uh, in this instance, the first column of uh, of the of the uh, shop page. Uh, and here is the width. So 47.5% because uh, since we're targeting the, the, the first column, uh, we don't want it to exceed 50% because we're assuming of course the, the, f the full width of both columns are 100% and then the uh, margin right uh, is the margin of the first column so we can't have that too much also or we're going to have like a, a, a one-sided uh, shop page but anyway I'll show you an uh, example later and then here again this is the class that we're targeting and the nth child 2n is the second uh, column and uh, so we have to specify that there's no margin uh, for the second uh, column the first uh, column, right? Maybe let's add, uh, for a better understanding, let's add the uh, background color to the first one. So let's put red. The hex code for red. And then let's add the background color to the second column. So let's refresh that again. Here you can see that uh, the first column is the, the red according to the CSS code in here. The background color is red. And then the second column, the 2N, is the green one. So you can see here this is the margin between them. So for example, let's uh, let's make this 50%, right? But we have to make this zero or else it will be just one sided. So margin 0%, margin 50%. So we publish that here. And yeah, so see, here you can see that um, it's 50% for each. So that means uh, there's no margin at the uh, uh, in between them. But we, we wouldn't want that because sometimes maybe your product uh, photo uh, has uh, it's like uh, sticking to the edge of the image itself. So that would, be, that would look too messy. So that's why we have the margin. And also the width. So for me, I prefer 47.5% for the width. And the margin right is like 2.5%. And then, uh, yeah. So again, let's refresh that. And you can see that it's there. So it's still like completely up for, uh, on, the, on, the, on the edges of the, of the layout of the, the page itself. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So you can play around with the with the uh, width here yeah and also the margin here but for this one you wouldn't want that to be you wouldn't want it to be uh, anything else here because you've already added you've already added the margin to the first column so if you add one here again then it might look like a one one-sided page again maybe we can try that so for example let's say let's say uh, we made this into uh, let's say we made it 50% right and then we made this 5% here. We'll see what happens in here. See that? Like it's not it's not going to look uh, as good. But uh, yeah, so that's why you have to play around with the with the width and the margins as well. So uh, yeah, that's why for me I prefer 47.5 and 2.5% because it has that clean look already. Okay, wait, that's uh, this background color. And then again, 
publish and then we refresh and that's it looks cleaner right i hope you have a uh, under uh, have a better understanding of how the css work and css works and uh and also how to do the uh, two column mobile layout uh which is actually very important for me because like uh, in some of the websites that i made i wanted it to uh you know to look uh to look neat and and better but then yeah anyway i hope that, that this has helped if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment and i'll be happy to uh you know provide assistance and if this uh, video has helped please like comment and subscribe that would be very helpful so uh yeah thank you